It's classic game room broadcasting from space, and I've got a copy of Mortal Kombat on the Super Nintendo here. You know, this game is so popular, they should make a movie based on it. Johnny Cage. Hey, I like the Mortal Kombat movie, but you know I'm probably the only person on Earth who prefers Pit Fighter when it comes to video games. That's right, I've, I've never really gotten into the Mortal Kombat series, although I seem to be playing my way through all of them. Here's the Super Nintendo version of Mortal Kombat. Spelled with a K. From 1993, published by Acclaim, this is a super sanitized version of Mortal Kombat on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Mortal Kombat without blood and guts. That's like non-alcoholic beer. So is Diet Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat Free, Mortal Kombat Zero any good? Well, it, it looks nice. And it has your Mortal Kombat style music and sound effects, also it plays well. But there's no blood. Well, if you had a Super Nintendo back in the day, you could either just go to the arcade or bowling alley and play Mortal Kombat, or get the Shirley Temple version for your home game console. And that's probably the only time in history anyone ever said Shirley Temple and Mortal Kombat in the same sentence. The special moves are fairly easy to execute, and like normal with the Mortal Kombat series, you're not going to get very far in the game without them. Anyway, this is one of those games that you either like or don't like. Technically, it's a nice 16-bit version of the game, but it's like an Arnold Palmer without the lemonade. Come on. You're just drinking iced tea without the blood. Come oh, wait. Well, no, that that's kind of weird. Never mind. I think this is one of the rare cases when we can all agree that the Atari Jaguar did it better. And I'm not talking about Mortal Kombat, I'm talking about Kasumi Ninja. Because in 1994, if you were playing this game, you know, secretly, you wanted Kasumi Ninja. Because that game had blood and a dude who would shoot fireballs from under his kilt. Here's a big shout out to Dylan from Hattiesburg, Mississippi, who sent this game to the show. Thank you, Dylan. Thank you, because we need to keep the Super Nintendo versus Atari Jaguar war raging. Gotta keep it alive, and the Jaguar doesn't win very often, so when it does, we just give it credit. Kasumi Ninja is better than this version of Mortal Kombat. So is Tattoo Assassins in the arcade. I'm absolutely awful at this game, but here's my recommendation. If you love the Super Nintendo and you're still living in 1993 and want to play Mortal Kombat, I recommend that you wait a year and buy Kasumi Ninja for the Jaguar. The Atari Jaguar does what the Super Nintendo don't. It don't sell very much.